What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is McStan and today we are playing They Are Here Alien Abduction Horror. So if you like aliens and you like getting scared while playing video games, this is probably the game for you. With that being said, there are two different playthroughs of this game that we can play right now. We have the demo and we have the prologue. Today we are going to play the demo. If you guys do enjoy this video, let me know in the comment section and we will make another video on the prologue section. But without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Unexplained phenomena occurred at Greywood's farm on the night of August 7th. The Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speed over the cornfield. The lights moved in a random direction and at different speeds. After a while, they vanished. This strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack him, and bit him. The children complained that someone was walking under their windows. Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception? Drawing attention to oneself or a sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Greywood's farm to take a photo and make a report for the local newspaper. Okay, so we are investigating a alien disturbance, I guess I would call it. Task talk to Farmer Peter Sherman. You know what, I gotta say, these indie games lately have been looking phenomenal. Oh, what do we got going on here? Okay, so we're taking pictures of lights in the sky. Okay. Right away, this looks really good. Look at the corn. Um, I just heard something. Yeah, I guess we'll go in here. What do we got here? What is this? Farmer's note. Mr. Fox, we made an appointment, but something bad happened. Our daughter went missing. My wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. We'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other. Peter Sherman. Okay, P.S. Be careful. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so we need to inspect the house. What do we got here? A phone? Okay. We'll put that back. Well, there's... That sounded weird, though. Phone line's out. Alright. So there is no phone. That's locked. They left the milk on the table. You gotta put the milk up, man. It's gonna go bad. Can't leave milk out. It's gonna go in the refrigerator. Oh, can we check this out? Nope. What do we got here? A photo? We got a little puppy dog. Is this the dog that bit, uh, the farmer? Okay, this must be the little girl's room. What do we got here? This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise when I came in. She wasn't in her bed and the windows was open. Was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted. Those things. And I'm guessing this is her running into the... Uh, the cornfield. Why are you, like, letting her do that, bro? Walkie-talkie. Apparently, it belonged to the missing girl. If you listen closely, you can hear strange sounds. Okay. I'm getting, like... Oh, wow. Check this out. It looks like the drawing was made by the missing daughter of the farmer. The paper is painted on both sides. Oh! 
she's saying that the alien killed her dog. Oh no. I am getting kind of like signs kind of vibes, if you guys have seen that movie. It's a really good movie. It's an M. Night Shyamalan movie. About aliens, it has Mel Gibson in it. <laughs> it's actually one of my favorite movies ever. Farmer's Note. I've learned a lot about these things. They are called the Greys. These are not little green men, but big, creepy, dangerous creatures. Basically, they can be described in the following way. A large head, disproportionate to their body, no hair, bottomless black eyes, gray skin, long, thin limbs. Their voices are like nothing else. These aliens are very aggressive towards people. It all starts with bright lights in the sky near home, which move along a certain way. Then people start to have a nosebleed, have a severe headache, and buzz in their ears. And animals start raging. Next, people start to have memory lapse. When they come back to normal, they find themselves in unexpected places. For example, in the middle of a field or on a road a few kilometers away from home. Some of them have flashbacks of terrible memories. People remember terrifying experiences. The aliens establish control over their minds and this has affected their psyche. Also, they found the marks on the body incisions to be exact during palpitation. It felt like something thick like a foreign object moving under their skin. Oh, there's something else here. What do we got here? Um, this has affected their psyche. Oh, okay. We already read that. Wow, okay, so... This guy has been doing a lot of research on aliens. This farmer has. So, these are photos from internet. From the internet, he, he's saying. These... The farmer didn't actually take these uh, photos. We got the children's diary. Found my old diary. How could I forget that? Uh, from when I was 15 years old, how could I forget that? Diary text. Today was the most exciting and scariest day of my life. I saw the aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was fishing from an abandoned pier on the river. Suddenly, I was deafened by a roar coming from behind. I turned around very low above the ground. A huge disc from four flashing lights or windows was hovering. I felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there as if in zero gravity. Everything around me became blindingly bright and I seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing three aliens with gray skin and big eyes. I was placed on the table as if I was welded to it. They were standing over me. It seemed to me that they communicated with each other telepathically. Then one of them came over and did something to my head. I don't remember anything else. I woke up on the pier later in that evening and barely made it home. My head was buzzing and I walked home as if in a delirium. When I got there, I found several cuts on my body and two small, very smooth holes behind my ears. What was that? I'm scared to sleep. <laughs> oh my god. Are we taking pictures of this? Take a picture of the photo diary? Okay, we're taking a picture of that, baby. We are definitely taking a picture of that. Yo, I'm hearing something. What is going on? Okay, we're gonna hide in here. We're hiding. We're hiding. We're hiding. What is going on? Press F for flashlight? Are we not hiding? Guys, I'm scared. I'm scared. I hear something out here. Nope. Nope. We're going in here. My original plan. Hide in the closet. I'm so scared right now. I 
hear something to my right. Okay, I guess, I guess we have to move. I'm terrified. Okay, something knocked out over this chair. Oh no. This TV's on. here dude yeah we don't want to play that again what is it I heard something there's a note on the uh bathroom on the mirror here what is this farmer's note as a child headaches began to bother me they torture me to this day i went to the doctors dozens of times but no one could explain the reason for my for their occurrence now i understand why the doctors could not determine the cause of the migraines the answer is simpler simple abduction i only remember the alien abduction when i found my old diary it was then that the migraines began. The cuts that I noticed then behind the ear were a trace of them. I'm sure they've implanted something in me, some kind of transmitter or implant. Because of this, I forgot everything. I definitely decided that I would get it. I'm not crazy. What is this? Little jar with strange device. Oh, dude, he pulled out an implant. Okay, we'll take that. He pulled out an implant. He found an implant in him. What do we have here? Photos of dead animals. Dude, this game is spooky. I'm scared. I don't know what the hell's going on, man. Oh, more lights! There was three at the beginning. Yo, one just what? One just flew away. Oh no! Is that our car alarm going off? <laughs> oh shit! Task one to the car. Okay, we can do that. It's not letting me run, dude. Yo, what's going on here? What the hell just happened, bro? Hey, let's get this car running. Let's get it running, baby. Oh, 
was not ready for that. <laughs> in the full game, you will find the large territory of Greywood's farm, and in the in a full story of alien abduction, add the game to your wish list so you don't miss a discounted release. Wow, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little demo of They Are Here. And like I said, if you did, let me know in the comments to play the prologue. We will make a video on the prologue. Anyway, I hope you did enjoy the video. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you in the next one.